everybody, it's Mrs. Ross again. Well, that's not Mrs. Ross, that's my dog Coda. Can you guys say hi? Hi Coda! She's gonna listen to a story today too. I hope you saw Miss Galvin's dog Milo when she was reading aloud. Today now I'm going to read Splitting the Herd, a corral of odds and evens. So this is kind of like a math book and it's gonna talk to us about odd and even numbers. It was written by Trudy Harris and illustrated by Russell Julian. And this is the title page, Splitting the Herd, a Corral of Odds and Evens. Miss Emma had a problem with the cattle on the range. They were restless, roving critters, always looking for a change. They didn't care for fences and a barn was of no use. Those stubborn, ornery animals were always getting loose. Ornery means they're not in a very good mood. See how they're coming through the fence? And there's Miss Emma. She looks kind of sad about that. Maybe even a little frustrated. To complicate the matter, when the cows began to stray, they would head to Cowboy Kirby's yard and munch on Kirby's hay. There's Cowboy Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> I saw some sneaky critters escaping from your yard, Cowboy Kirby said to Emma, but the problem isn't hard. Twenty cows are in my pasture, so I'll tell you what to do. Since every critter looks alike, we'll split the herd in two. So now they're saying they don't know whose cow belongs to who. So because there are 20 of them, they'll split them in half. That's a good solution. Count one, two, three, four, keep the cattle in a line. Even numbers will be yours, all the odd ones will be mine. Ten apiece should work out fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And all the numbers in red are odd numbers, and all the numbers in purple are even numbers. Let's see how Coda likes that. Coda, you like even numbers or odd numbers? She's thinking about it. That seemed to solve the problem. Emma took her cows back home, but next morning, without warning, two of them began to roam. Twelve cows are in my pasture, Cowboy, Cur Cowboy Kirby said to Emma. I know exactly what to do to solve this cow dilemma. Count one, two, oh, Coda. Are you counting? Coda's, Coda's counting. Count one, two, three, four, keep the cattle in a line. Even numbers will be yours, all the odd ones will be mine. Six apiece should work out fine. Kirby looked a little puzzled as he slowly scratched his head. This worked out well the last time, so this must be right, he said. Well, actually, said Emma, two cows were on the path. Now, don't you worry, Kirby said. I'm pretty good at math. So she's saying only two cows got loose. Why are they splitting up all of them? And here again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All the red numbers are odd and all the purple numbers are even. I hate to hurt your feelings, but I think there's some mistake, Emma smiled and said to Kirby, let's discuss it over cake. They discussed the current state of things in nations far and wide, discussed the flowers in the spring, the moon, the stars, the tide. And when the cake was finished, they set a date to dine they didn't even mention cows, so six for now seemed fine. So they're getting to know each other and they enjoy talking to each other. As the rooster crowed next morning, two more cows charged through the gate. They joined the six in Kirby's yard and that added up to eight. Eight cows are in my pasture. Here's what we ought to do, Kirby proudly said to Emma. Let's divide them all by two. Count one, two, three, four, keep the cattle in a line. Even numbers will be yours, all the odd ones will be mine. Four apiece should work out fine. So again, the red numbers are odd numbers and the purple numbers are even numbers. As Kirby scratched his forehead, Emma said, that's not quite right. We can talk about it over cake. 
come join me for a bite. So see, the problem is he keeps splitting them in half, but that's giving Miss Emma way more cows than Kirby has. They read a book by Robert Frost and marveled at the rhyme, but didn't even mention cows. There simply wasn't time. And when the clock struck half past nine, four cows for now somehow seemed fine. That midnight in the moonlight, a fateful thing occurred. Two cunning cows crept through the fence, deserting Emma's herd. Six cows are in my pasture. I've got to mend that fence. But first he said, let's split them up because that makes perfect sense. So now again, he's gonna split the ones that are on his side in half and that's still gonna give Miss Emma more than he has. Count one, two, three, four, keep the cattle in a line. Even numbers will be yours, all the odd ones will be mine. Three apiece should work out fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Red numbers are odd, the purple numbers are even. Emma sweetly said to Kirby, there's a point I need to make. Kirby grinned and said to Emma, let's discuss it over cake. They like to eat cake. How many of you like to eat cake? Miss Emma's favorite carrot cake was simply so divine, and when the evening ended, three cows for now seemed fine. The word divine must mean delicious or good. But the fence still needed fixing, and the grass looked greener yonder, so two willful cows from Emma's ranch began again to wander. Look at that, they dug a hole right in the ground. Those are clever cows. Five cows are in my pasture. This time it isn't fair. With three for me and two for you, there seems to be a spare. Kirby counted and he counted. He thought with all his might, he couldn't figure out what was wrong, though something wasn't right. So now because there's an odd number of cows, he can't give each of them the same number. So that's what's special about even numbers is you can give two people the same amount and it would be fair. But with odd numbers, there's always gonna be one left over. At last, Miss Emma shook her head and she gave a painful sigh. There's something I must tell you now, she looked him in the eye. This isn't right, Miss Emma said, it's turning out all wrong. I should have told you sooner, it's gone on far too long. Kirby suddenly looked nervous. His voice was faint and with fear. I've meant to tell you something too. And then he whispered in her ear. I wonder what he said. Yes, you've solved the problem, Emma squealed, then went to make the batter and some frosting for a very special cake. I wonder what kind of a cake she's making and what was the solution to the problem? How are they gonna figure out who gets how many cows? They were happy ever after and their cows lived side by side. Cows no longer were divided. In fact, they multiplied. So look at what their solution was. They decided because they enjoyed their company so much, they would get married. And the special cake she baked was a wedding cake. And now they get to share all the cows. They don't have to worry about whose cow belongs to who. And so by talking about a problem they were having, they became very good friends. So if you would like, I'll hold this here for a moment and you can pause the video and read this yourself to learn a little bit more about odd and even numbers. Now let's see how Coda liked the book. Oh goodness, I think I put her right to sleep. Hey Coda, did you like the story? Oh, did you like the story? Yeah. All right. Okay, everybody, I'll read you another story again another time. Thank you for listening.